Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Kimbo here. It's time for an epic epic unboxing. So we got this right here. You can see right there. It says Spin Master on it. It's really, really hype. But yeah, no, this was not sent to me by Spin Master. I actually paid for this. You know, it's how it is for like literally 95% of the stuff I get. Well, I'd say like more like 98, 99, you know, and I get help with some things, which is like, I'm so grateful for that. But yeah, man, I just love games so much. I try to keep up with everything, Babe Wynn, Bakugan wise. But yeah, just, just saying that, you know, just got to put that out there and let's see if i can get this actually open yeah all right here we go so let's see oh dude dude no way. okay it's hype we've got we've got our reliance dude it's so hype oh my gosh okay so okay i guess the first thing we're gonna get into is uh this we got Bakugan Armored Alliance, dude. This is like some of the well, besides like some uh singles, you know. Uh, first uh starter packs that I've opened for Armored Alliance, dude. So, this one is the Bakugan Armored Alliance Arliss Nilius Ultra 3 pack, and it tells what Bakugan are in here, so you know all three of them. They only told like the first one the first time, so they're actually telling all the Bakugan that are in these packs down here. So it's Arliss Nilius Ultra, Aqua's Pegatrix, and Chaos Trox. Obviously, like you know, the Armored Alliance uh, versions of them. Look at the artwork, dude. You can see Trox right there, you can see Nilius, you can see Pegatrix. They all look so, so great. And this is the setup for them, dude. So they got the design for the cards down there. Um, they've got the three Bakugan here. Obviously having, like, you know, it's the same sort of setup as it was before. Where the Ultra is shown off. And then you got the two uh, core Bakugan that they have right there. Uh, and then they put the... Uh, the cores on the side actually and that's really really cool so this is what it looks like man this is how they're designed this is my first like i said my first starter pack i'm actually opening and it looks so good man i love the artwork dude and even the shape of the box it's really really cool dude and you can see it's like shaped like a core in the back and these are shaped like cores that's just so cool i love that attention to detail man and then also you can see it says bakugan gate trainer so with these packs you can see right there um these are just like gate cards literally they're paying homage with like kind of gate cards except obviously no be power with them they help anybody who's just getting into the game practice their role so it's a good way of practicing roles and also pays homage to the first era of bakugan but it's so so cool man like we got to give spin master props big time because they're putting in the work for sure with this dude just so so cool but yeah anyways time to check out the back and let's see what it looks like uh the artwork so you can see like the the gate card right there the practice gate card uh got three regular cards the three character cards so yeah one ultra two bakugan six cores three ability cards three character cards um collectible training card one instruction sheet and the rules sheet and as you can see all the bakugan are open they normally had it where like the two cores were closed but they have them all open so you can see what exactly you're getting and that's the core package tricks it looks so cool dude and obviously core shocks looking so so sick man and showing off some of the new stuff. So we got the storage case, which, you know, got to get the newer storage cases. But I also don't think those are out yet. They'll probably come out like next month, maybe. Uh, but yeah, and also the uh, new battle arena, which you guys already know. I got to try and find that arena because it just looks so cool. Out of all the arenas, it's honestly probably my favorite because of just the fade of like the gold to the orange and the red. It looks so great, man. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, it's time to open up this package. And let's see how to actually open it up. Um... Yeah, I got I got to figure it out myself. Like I said, it's the first one I'm opening. So okay, so probably from the top. Okay, yeah. So open it from the top. Wraps around. You can see all the symbols right there too. Like it's just so so cool, dude. I love the packaging. The packaging looks so so good. They're going in big time with season two. All right, get that. Okay, so that's how you get all of that out. Got all the cards here. So um, get this open. That plastic strip, well, the, the piece of tape, you know. All right, there's that. And for the sake of this, since it's the first one, I'll actually get into the, the detail about everything that's with that. So, got Nilius. Oh, uh, man, they're putting in the plastic strips. And look at the Arliss, the new Arliss. Okay, we got to talk about the new Arliss, you already know, because they revamped Arliss a little bit. They added some more colors with it. With the other factions, it seems like they're pretty much the same, except for, like, obviously the addition of the logos, but... Well, for our list, they definitely switched up the colors uh, a little bit. And, uh, yeah, for the sake of this, I'll just close it up. There we go. So, we'll get into the cards for this one. So, look at this. Obviously, just looking at... Uh, they explain everything about the game, you know, the cores, all that good stuff, you know, the D-power of the Bakugan, what damage does, how each of these are, you know, um, Helix. Uh, wow, the Bakugan cores. Got the actual names for them. Um, 
yeah, well, like, you know, it's in different language. So, obviously, Helix, Fist, Magic Shield, Flame Fist, uh, and Regular Shield. So, yeah, I'm explaining everything, how you make the grid, all that, all that good stuff. There we go. Helix, Fist, Magic Shield, Flame Fist, Shield, all that good stuff. You no know, showing it all off. Shows how the character cards are, how everything relates. And, yeah, just showing it off really, really uh, briefly, you know. Like I said, this is the one time where I'll really, really show that off because, you know, it's the first uh, three-pack. Um, and then we got this sheet right here showing how to assemble. Uh, you know, I'll close up the Bakugan. And this is the main thing we're going to look at. So this is the current roster sheet, you know, with these Bakugan. See if I can't get much of a glare. All right, we got Ramparian, Dragonoid, Enoch, which he cited for that big time. Uh, Batrix, Halcor, Hydrus, Nilius, Pegatrix. Cyrus, Gilator, uh, Treacherous, and Trox. Those are all the ultras, the current moment that they're going to have go out for probably the first waves. And then for the cores, we got Auxilator, uh, Centipod, Dragonoid, uh, Howcore, Cycloid, Hydrus, Simoga, um, Nilius, Feral, Trox, and Pegatrix. Obviously, Simoga being the one named after Simo, uh, winning the first invitational, all that good stuff. Uh, yeah, your boy Simo. Um, and then they're paying homage with, like, obviously, Centipod to Centipoid, and then Cycloid, enough said. So, yeah, man, they're still paying homage. They're paying big time homage to the first era. So, you know, it's one thing all older fans, you know, will probably be appreciative of. So, I'll wait to show off the cards, actually. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll just get into the Bakugan first, why not? So, let's look at the cores, actually. That's what I usually do, go into the cores. So, uh, we got the regular fist. Anybody who hasn't seen, like, the new Armored Alliance fists, um, well, you know, Armored Alliance cores is what they look like. Got inspiration of how TT does their cores, which TT cores are really, really cool. And I love that they, uh, you know, got some inspiration from that and are using that for the style. But plus three for the damage for that one. Then we got another fist, plus 150, plus one. That's a pretty dang good one. Um, then we got uh, plus 100, and Aquas or Ventus get plus 3 damage. That is nice. I uh, got a shield, minus 300, definite trap one. Uh, then we got another one, plus 400 for Chaos and Pyrus. That is really, really nice. And then uh, plus 550Bs for Magic Shield. So it seems like the cores are really, really similar. Some of them just add, uh, you know, obviously um, the Baku gear uh, with it, you know, like lowering the energy costs for Baku gear. But yeah, so. In this case, I'm actually going to go like in reverse a little bit of what Bakugan are going to show off. So, we're going to start off with uh, the two cores. So, we've got Trox right here. Chaos Trox looking so great. You see the Chaos symbol right there. Um, you can see the turquoise blue, a little bit of sky blue, all that white. Looking so, so awesome. It looks really cool in the ball form. So, anybody who hasn't seen like the uh, new Trox, this is what it looks like. 3, 2, 1, Bakugan Brawl. Get that spin roll. Yeah, man. And there it is. And let's see. Is it strong enough to pick up two? Um, it doesn't seem like it, so it doesn't seem like you pick up two, actually. But yeah, still really, really cool. Got the arms right there. These arms go out like these go out. You know, like the little T-Rex arms, and then the little body of Trox. Just so, so cool, man. Looks really sick. I like this core Trox, big time. Looks really great. So let's see um, the B-Power for it. The B-Power is 300, okay. So you can tell they're still keeping things really, really balanced. It's got a spot for uh, Baku gear, you know, right there. So the cores, the way the Baku gear works like the big hub of it if you get a baku gear mainly goes on the ultras and then the obviously the smaller like you know how they come with like the ones with the pegs like how they're kind of like baku nano they go for the cores so they got the pegs for them but for an actual like baku gear obviously the magnets on the bottom so not really for that part like the big hub of it just mainly for the smaller parts but you can still use those for uh you know the cores so that's one thing that's really really cool but yeah trox looking so cool got kind of the mustache right there <laughs> Oh, yeah, the turquoise blue, the blue teeth, the head, just the overall shape of it. I like it a lot, big time, you know. You can tell it's even evolved a bit from, like, the past Trox to put a little more detail in it. And it looks really, really good, man. All right, so next up, we've got Aqua's Pegatrix. So this is the core Pegatrix. This is my first core Pegatrix, uh, you know, for Armored Alliance. So let's see how this bad boy looks. Well, first of all, got that orange, little bit of sky blue right there. That dark blue looks so sick, man. So let's see how it looks. On the aqua symbol right there. You can see it. Three, two, one. Bakugan. Got to get the focus. There we go. Bakugan, bro. Oh, dude. It didn't want to open, but it got it. It got attached. And, hey, there it is. Yo, check it out. Look at that. Even the details. They're even, like, up in the details for the core Bakugan, man. If you don't notice that, like, for real, they totally are. Look at that. Those front legs. Um, You can see, like, the head of Pegatrix right there. 
Um, you know, got the hooves, the front hooves, and the back legs. Uh, got the tail right there, the wings. It looks so sick, man. Like, this looks really, really cool. They're adding more detail to even the cores, you know. And that's really, really awesome, man. But, uh, yeah, so I'll set that off to the side. It just looks so great. I actually got to look at the B-Power first. Um, and it's got, the, it's got the ports actually right there under the wings, which that's really cool. And B-Power 400. So, yeah, and there's definite balance. Some people are saying, oh, there's not much balance or anything just because, like, Drago Ultra has, like, 900. The Evo for Drago Ultra costs 6, by the way. Just saying, you know. So, there's definitely still big time balance with this game. I don't get why people are saying, like, there's not because there totally is. There's so much stuff you can work with. It's just about thinking outside of the box with the things that you're doing. But, yeah, I'm just trying to get uh, comfortable, you know. Get a comfortable little shit up. Okay, here we go. And now we're in the kind of the main event, that being Arliss Nilius Ultra. So this is what I'm talking about. The thing they switched up with Arliss is that um, you can see right there. Um, this, you can see there's more silver, like it's a more metallic. You know how they had the gold and the silver before, obviously with Arliss, you can see it's more metallic. Look at it, dude, the silver really pops. It's more metallic and shiny, it looks so great. And the same thing with the gold. Look at the wings, man. Just that gold right there, the gold on the tail. Oh, it looks so great, man. Look at the gold on Nilius's neck. Like the head of the, the heads of the dragons. Looks so, so awesome, man. The teeth. It's so good, man. I love the new Arliss. When I saw this at the sneak peek event, uh, you know, the last invitational, um, it was oh, I freaked out. I'm, I'm sure you guys like, saw the, the video of it, like me there. I was freaking out the entire time, and I still am because they look so good, man. It looks so so good. I'm so hyped for Arliss because it's getting the full out love that it deserves. Because I mean, I loved Arliss, but just having the metallic uh, paint on there with the silver and the gold makes such a big difference, and it looks so so good, man. So the port's right there, obviously for the Baku gear, and then on the tail, that's where you can put the Baku gear at. But yeah, obviously the huge wings for this Nilius. The wings are freaking massive. Uh, kind of put Garganoid to shame a, a bit, I guess, you know, because they're really big wings. And just looks so, so good. So let's see. What is the B power on it? I can find it. There it is. So it's 600. So that's pretty good right out of the gate. Uh, but yeah, man. So I guess it's time to show, like, how to close them. So let's see here. The heads actually go back, you know. Like, they are manual. Some people are like, oh, man, the heads are manual and such. But it's no big thing. Like, literally, you just got to push the heads out. You know, like, it's whatever. I wouldn't make a big deal about that. Literally, you push the heads back. Um, You push them in. You know, this folds up. Push those in. You twist this in so the legs go up. Then you got the legs wrapping around. Put them there. Take the tail. Push the tail back. And then push the last bit of the tail right there. Just, there we go. Okay. That clicked in. And then that top part. And that is what Arliss Nilius Ultra looks like in the ball form, dude. Like I said, that metallic gold and the metallic silver makes it pop that much more. And it's so, so great. And plus the Arliss logo, you know, just having the logos back. Really glad about that. They're literally paying so much homage to the first series, guys. Like, it's it's so amazing, man. I love it. Like, it melts my heart, you know, being a, a literally like a lifelong Bakugan fan. I was here, like, when, like I said, the game. Uh, really, really started in like 09 and you know being here now to seeing how much it's evolved like hits me in the heart and just seeing these little details oh my gosh even the show dude like it makes me freak out oh uh, yeah i don't know if the first episode is out but until the first episode goes out and i know it's out i'm not gonna like make some certain um you know references but yeah anyways the way to close trucks you fold it well you roll it over a little bit you see how it rolls up um you put the head in and then you fold this part in of the tail and then that part of the tail and that's how you close trucks and then for package tricks, this is my first time closing it. Uh, you put the head down, you put the legs in, you put the uh, the tail in, and then the wings. I'm guessing. I'm guessing that's how you close it. Uh, yeah, or maybe maybe I might have done it out of order. Yeah, I think so. Okay, okay, I see. So the legs. Uh, yeah, okay. Let me reopen that. So the legs. Don't put those in yet. So the wings, the back legs, and that. Push those in. Put those legs in. Um, push that all together. Oh, man, I almost had it. All right, there we go. So the wings don't go in quite yet. Everything else goes in, then the wings, and then the head. And then that's how you close Pegatrix. So Aqua's Pegatrix in ball form. Yeah, man, just looking so, so cool. You've seen the other two open, so, you know, don't have to worry about, uh, you know, getting the detail, showing that they're open in action. 
So now it's time to get into the cards. So this is a new thing with this. Like I said, these are like gate cards. Um, they're kind of like gate cards, you know, basically are except instead of them getting B power, you know, that's left with the cores. These are put in so anybody who's new to the game can really practice their roles or anybody wants to practice their roles in general. You just set it down and that's how you can practice your roles, you know. So, you know, you just set it down, put a few of them down, practice your roles, try to get the Bakugan open, you know. Managed to get it open that time. Just put a lot of mustard on uh, the rocks with that with that roll. So it like rolled off of it. Uh, but yeah, man, that is how you can get your big time rolls in. So you know, obviously appealing to those who haven't played the game that much, and it helps them with the rolls that much more. So then when you do it competitively with the cores, uh, yeah, it helps really perfect your rolls, which is really really cool. So yeah, and I love they brought that back paying homage to the first series. And then we've got uh, the cards here. So it actually comes with uh, the Baku Gear card. So we got Silent Spears. Five cost, but plus 500 Bs, no damage added. And that's really, really sick, man. So, like, you know, Baku Gear, you can attach them to your Baku Gun. You can only have one attached to your Baku Gun at a time. You can't attach multiple. You can only have one. So if you were to, like, attach another Baku Gear to your Baku Gun after you put this on there, like, say you got Silent Spears and then you add another one, this would drop. And then the other one would be the one that's on there. You know what I mean? That's how that's how it would work with that. You only have one attached. Which has a big time balance thing. And I like that a lot. So, yeah. Um, and then we got Baku Thrusters. Uh, plus 300 and plus 3 and it's 4 cost uh, for it. So, yeah, man. Looks really, really sick. Um, then we got uh, Bolt Blow. 2 to get it out. Plus 2 for the Frost Strike with it. And it gives you plus 100 Bs. And uh, no. It does no damage. But, yeah. Plus 2 Frost Strike put on your Bakugan with it, you know, when it's equipped with it, which that's really, really cool. So, yeah, man, now it's time for the character cards. We've got uh, Aquas Pegatrix here. Double Fist, uh, B-Power 400, damage of 5. So, yeah, man, definitely have some cards, like, back it up, because, you know, that means, like, currently it'll be, like, the highest you can get is, like, 550. But, I mean, having some cards to back it up might make it pretty dang good. You know, it's about, like, really getting a build with your deck, because the cards really switch things up. Then we got Trox, 307, a lot of damage with it, and double shield with it. So, I mean, you can get up to, like, 700 right away. So, you know, pretty good. And Trox sitting out in the field looks so, so cool. And then, obviously, the Arbor Pegatrix looking really awesome as well. Looks like it's breaking through a wall or something. Then we got Nilius Ultra, dude. Arliss Nilius Ultra looking so great. B-Power is 600 damage of one. It has a fist and a magic shield, so you're talking about it can get up to, like, 1,200 right away, which that's pretty dang good, so, yeah, not much damage with it, but just gotta have the cards to back it up, and it looks like it's also just sitting kind of in a field, got broken concrete underneath it, and you can see the city in the background a little bit, and I think that's a river, like a bit right there, but, yeah, I think that might be a ship, but, yeah, dude, overall it looks really, really cool, I love the artwork that they're putting in, you know, and I can't wait to see Armored Elite cards, because, like, already, that's probably my favorite, uh, like, honestly, wave of the TCG, just so, so awesome, dude, but, yeah, now it's time to show the opening action for Nilius. So let's see if I can get it to open with one core. See if I can do it like a pro. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. But here we go. 3, 2, 1, Bakugan bra. And hey, got it, dude. And look at it just like roll ahead. Rolls right forward. Then fold the heads forward. And it just looks so, so sick, dude. So... Yeah, guys, that is everything for this review on this awesome Bakugan Armored Alliance Arliss Nilius Ultra 3-pack. I hope you guys enjoyed. Definite props to Spin Master. You know, I mean, they realized, you could even tell with this, what they realized from the first season, what they can improve with, you know, and that being, like, showing the actual Bakugan, so you know what Bakugan you're getting, all of them, so it's not just a guess, and you have to really know the ball form of the Bakugan. They have them open, they have the artwork of them open, so you know exactly what Bakugan you're getting, and they actually name it on the front, too, with the Ultra that you're getting, you know, so that's really, really cool. Um, and also including these gate cards, you know, so people can practice the roles, which is really, really sick, too. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to slice that like button down below. Let me know how I did. If you're new to my channel, definitely be sure to subscribe for some epic, epic content, because I upload daily. And if you haven't already, be sure to ring that bell by my channel name to be notified whenever I upload a video. So, yeah, guys, until next time, it is your boy, Kimbo, signing off. See you guys later. Thanks for watching. Until then, stay awesome. And Bakugan Brawl! I'm up out of here.